So, you know, like at the end of the day, if we can get past, and I talk about this a lot, I'm going to talk about it more, but this micro version of life where we're just, we're so fixated on the next week or next month, where's my money going to come in a month from now? If that's where you're at, then you're already screwed. There's not one of you guys in here that hasn't been able to go make more money when they wanted to or when they're willing to go and work. Every stinking one of you can go make more money on demand. I'm not saying it's always going to be a lot of money, but I'm saying there's not one person in here that can look me in the eye and say, Dan, I don't know how to wait, a way to make money. I, I, have no, I have no ability to do it. I made my last dollar and that's just going to be it for the rest of my life. Said no one ever. So then why the hell are we so freaking fixated on holding on to every last bit of it when we're in growth mode? When you're in growth mode and you're trying to get out of the shitty situation or out of the shitty job or out of this stupid freaking pandemic bullshit, right? When, when, when you're at that place, who gives a shit? You're already screwed. They stole your time. They stole your, they're probably not paying you enough or they took away your job or they, or they won't allow you to go freaking shop right now because they think you're going to get the freaking flu bug or whatever it's called, right? And so what happens? You get put on sidelines and you, all this money that you, you, you thought was a good idea to hold on to ain't worth shit because you still need a way to go make more of it. So right now, when you have income or savings put on the sideline, this is when you guys need to stress test yourself and start playing. Play harder, man. Be willing to put yourself out there. It's okay. You guys do shit every day. You, I see people, I don't gamble, but people in the casinos are gambling every freaking day, right? But they'll never invest in themselves or invest in an asset that can maybe play pay for them for, for later, later in life. This is your time right now to, to go, go, go hard. You don't know what tomorrow brings. You don't know what might happen. You have nothing to lose. Money is a renewable resource. You get that into your brain. Most of us have been programmed incorrectly and we have a really, really poor relationship with money. We tend to blow it on just pleasures only. And we don't tend to invest it back into ourself, into our life. I, um, I struggle with some of this stuff as well. I know I struggled more when I had less money. I struggled way more. But there's one thing is I was never afraid to take a risk on business. And not just like eensy weensy risks. It's like, you know, I was at 18, 19 years old. I think I had two homes at 19. That's risky, you know? And I, I figured it out, you know, those, those months. I think I went negative on one of my homes for damn near three or four years when I was renting it out because I bought it the wrong time. But you know what? I've, I've held through and that thing's worth almost double now. So, you know, like at the end of the day, if we can get past, and I talk about this a lot, I'm going to talk about it more, but this micro version of life where we're just, we're so fixated on the next week or next month, where's my money going to come in a month from now? If that's where you're at, then you're already screwed. You're already screwed. If you're living week to week, month to month, and I'm not talking shit, I'm just trying to motivate your ass because if you're a grown ass adult and that's, the, that's, and you got kids, well, hell, you better be staying up all night with me hustling. Okay. If you're on that type of a budget, shame on you. Okay. Take it personally. Okay. When my daughter doesn't, she's 12, she can two, three, four thousand dollars a month, month in, month out on her own on the internet. Okay. Put in the work. We make excuses. Oh, I got busy. I got that. And I get it. Those things happen. If those things are happening to you, if those things are happening to you, you're getting busy, you're getting waylaid, you're getting taken off base. It's time to outsource. Okay. It's time to outsource. And you know what? The pain of spending the money on outsourcing will, will make you decide, is it worth it? Would I rather be spending my own time doing that and keeping the money for something else? Or was it really worth it? Cause I got to focus on what I enjoy doing, which is really what you were busy with, right? No one's that busy. No, I can guarantee you. No one's that busy. No one's so busy that they can't put up five or 10 of these lead gen properties a month. No one in here. We choose to Netflix and chill. We choose to go to bed two hours early. We choose to wake up two hours later. We choose on the weekend to, 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 to do some other stuff and blow our time. Well, every, for every action, there's a counter reaction, right? So think about that. If you're choosing those things and your money's funny, it ain't going to change. 
Yeah, I wish any of you guys could come spend a week with us here when we have Ipe over and Gabe and, and you guys would see it looks like fun and games all the time, but it's not. We're hustling a lot and we're, we've already hit income levels that are probably out of this world for a lot of people listening today. And but we're still pushing on the weekends, on the weeknights till four in the morning. And listen, I'm not telling you guys to be a workaholic. That's not what I'm, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying if you're in a tight spot or if you're in this this, you know, micro viewpoint of your in, income and you, you don't you, you only have a week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks of reserves and then you're tripping. That's no way to live. So let's change it. 